Hello everyone, it's Matmus again with you today. Thanks for joining me. We're doing some more tank related footage today and we are talking about the Oplot main battle tank. Now this tank is already been done on my channel. I've already done a video review so feel free to go check that out. Uh, I really do like this tank and recently I found some footage which is actually of the tanks kind of showcase. I thought it was actually kind of interesting. And before we get to that footage though, um, I just want to talk a little bit about Pakistan's involvement with the Oplot tank. Now Pakistan was reportedly tested a Ukrainian built Oplot P Papa, main battle tank. The Pakistan army has around 320 T-80 UD main battle tanks which it ordered from Ukraine in 1996. The surge of Pakistani interest in Ukrainian armor solutions stems from a recent agreement signed by Kiev and Islamabad in late 2016 and early 2017. Now interestingly, Pakistan has looked into the options of upgrading their old tanks with better engines and such, the T-80UDs, or potentially looking into actually procuring the Oplot P main battle tank, which is a little bit different. Uh, they basically have tried looking into activating a contract in about March of this year for 88 tank sites for the army's T-80UD, so they're already starting to upgrade the sites. Um, but there's some reports that also say that the new build Oplot that they're wanting is actually just for testing, not part of an actual order, meaning that Pakistan has yet to actually decide on pursuing the Oplot as their new main battle tank. It is not known whether this new built model incorporates updates or Pakistani specific changes. For example, Pakistan may be interested in the new 6TD-3 or the 1500 horsepower diesel engine, especially for the forthcoming Al-Qaeda 2 main battle tank. In 2015, Pakistan had tested several MBTs, specifically the Oplot M and Chinese Norinco VT4, as part of the Haider MBT program. The Haider was envisaged as the complementary MBT to the Al Khalid series, which was intended to form the future mainstay of the Pakistan Army's forces. It's not known if the Haider program is actually still alive or if there's any actual relation to today's apparent interest in the Oplot. The Oplot M is the latest variant of the T84, which is an upgrade of the T80UD. Although it's based on the same chassis as the T-84 and T-80UD, the Oplot M boasts a new welded turret armed with the 125mm KBA-3 smoothbore gun and carousel automatic loader, which can fire numerous types of tank shells and anti-tank guided missiles. So there you go, a little bit of tank news for you there. Looks like Pakistan are looking into potentially buying the Oplot, but we will see. I mean, it's not exactly going to be a cheap option for them, for sure, especially either upgrading or buying new, but... We shall see what will happen in the future there, and I will keep you updated. But for now, let's take a look at Ukraine's showcase of this beautiful Oplot M beast, and go from there. Hold on a second, I'm pretty sure Ukraine is a friend of the Western nations, so why did it just shoot down a cobra? Kinda weird.
Well, there you go, guys. Another interesting little showcase video there, this time for the Oplot main battle tank, M-Series. Uh, i got to admit, it's uh, impressive to see that this tank is still trying to implement, you know, newer technology onto it with the whole, you know, laser detection systems and you know, all that sort of stuff. Whether or not these systems work 100% as advertised, it's very tough to say. I guess you have to really see these systems being implemented and see if they actually are protecting the tank. I'm a little skeptical. I mean... In a realistic wartime scenario, I see a lot of these systems not working as well as they should do. It would be interesting to see how much more, you know, technology needs to improve to make these systems a lot more reliable. But maybe they do work very, very well. I don't know because I've never really been in an environment where they've even been tested or required for our battle tanks back in the UK. So it is interesting to see these older vehicles getting punched up with this stuff though. Uh, guys, as always, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video and the showcase video. I mean, I thought it was pretty impressive. Some pretty good CGI there. And also, what the news of uh, Pakistan potentially getting these tanks. What do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think they should upgrade, buy new, or can go for a completely different option? Maybe the, you know, VT4 from Norinko. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me on this video. Leave me a like if you enjoyed the video and a comment to hear your own feedback. And if you do wish to support my channel, please feel free to go see my Patreon account for any kind of donation you wish to make to support this YouTube channel would be much appreciated. And it is in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.